Welcome back to part five of the Hammerhead Twister Rebuild. Stay tuned. So here's a good look at the frame now that, well it's a little cloudy out, but now that you, uh, now that I don't have it stuck beside the house and I can actually walk all the way around it, came out pretty good, pretty snappy. It's going to be a nice little ripper once we get the suspension and everything back on and get that motor in there. I'm uh, painting up the suspension right here and I went ahead and pulled the gas tank, giving that a fresh coat. And uh, I'm doing, just so you guys know, I'm doing three coats of paint and two coats of clear coat just to make sure uh, everything is good and coated. And that clear coat just seems to help it from if it gets scraped or scuffed or anything like that. But uh, yeah, there's where we're at. Uh, that's where we're starting part five. All right, so I'm uh, on the rear end today. As you can see, I got it all painted up and just started putting the rear end back together. Just wanted to make a quick note for you guys. Uh, there's covers right here on the outside of the bearing. You can pop these covers off and I repacked it with some synthetic grease. Uh, while you have it apart, it's just a good time to uh, go ahead and pack those things. And uh, I just found the bolts for my sprocket here in this rusty pan that, was, uh, that came with it. And I'm gonna get those cleaned up and get that thing tightened back up. Here we go. So it just got me a little delivery here. My buddy Brian hooked me up and popped the uh, rear tires on. I had to take the, uh, the eight inch rim smaller ones uh, up to discount tire and have them pop them on, but got these back so I can at least get this rear end put back together and uh, get this thing ready for the motor to be put in. So it's time for me to test the lights. Uh, easiest way to do that, get yourself a small piece of wire. Hook it to one end, ground one side, power to the other. So. Sweet. We'll go ahead and test the rest of the lights. Making good progress. I got the headlights and turn signals in. Uh, just kind of set the dash on there for now. Uh, set the first seat in there. I got to find another seat. That seat is a little too big uh, to put two of them side by side. But I want to go ahead and get uh, this side suspension installed. There we go. Would you look at that? My tires came in. Can't believe that. Put the tires on, but don't bother cleaning the rim. Whatever. Still, Discount Tire did a great job, I gotta say. They were quick, it was cheap, I'm happy. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get these bad boys on there. I'm gonna leave the uh, creeper on the back here until I get the rear end uh, done and the engine mounted, and then I'll go ahead and put the rear end back under it, which I showed you earlier. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing jacked up. Pop those front tires on. We'll see what our little uh, scooter cart looks like.
that's where I'm going to end part five. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button somewhere. I don't know. It's, uh, yeah, it'll be in here somewhere. I appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Part six is coming. We're going to finish this thing up and take it for a test ride. Can't wait. I'm so excited.